Love to me is like a false sense of security because it's like the world could be crashing down around you, yet somehow someone, something still loves you. It's like the world stops for a moment and calms down. It's like the eye of a storm. I feel as though I'm understood when I'm with her. Just a couple days ago, actually, was the first time that I think I really cried in front of her. Something about being so comfortable with her, I could just let loose and, and she knew what to do, which was to play some music <laughs> and just lie there with me and, um, and just let me cry. Love is a song, and it's like being at church in a pew and oh, one of the altos in the choir like does this really beautiful run that like makes your heart go like, oh my God. I believe love is that encapsulating and that entrancing. It's me being able to call her sobbing at 1.30 in the morning and then her answering and then me going, why are you awake? And her going, why are you awake? And then us just talking and calming each other down. Our love is also driving through El Paso, blasting music, laughing with each other, playing the most obnoxious songs we can possibly find. Um, it's picking up each other's words and mannerisms and it's me saying things that she always says and her saying things that I always say. When I think of love, uh, I think of my dad and my mom um, and my little sister struggling with cancer, um, brain cancer. Anytime I think of her, I think of love. Yeah, she just opens a door in me that um, makes me realize how fragile love is. It truly is um, releasing control. I'm a twin, but my twin brother has autism and he's nonverbal and doesn't speak. There's no way for us to communicate, but somehow you know that there's love there and that even though he can't talk or he can't communicate, to tell me that he loves me, I know he does. And I know he knows the same about me. Sometimes it's just, sometimes you just know that the love that you share is there and his smile on even the worst of days just comes and it, he can't like physically express that he loves me but the smile and it just like shows me that it's there and that it's just crazy <laughs> like some people are not meant to stay around forever and whether that's because you know like you like you lose them or you choose to distance yourself from them
Yes. Been married for two, three hours. <laughs> right. <laughs> but dating for like four and a half years. What do you think love is? I think it's putting the person in the relationship that you're in with first for you and anticipating whatever they need. And that's moment to moment and year by year and forever, right? Ideally forever. We got forever. 